Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to clean your water flosser. So, okay, there's lots of different makes, models, and brands that make a bunch of different water flosser type machines, right? So always please keep in mind to read your manufacturer's directions on how to properly clean the one that you own. This video is going to show just what I do with mine, and it doesn't mean you should do it with yours. Always check the instructions of your specific unit. So having said that, let me show you what I do to make myself feel good and clean with my water flosser. So daily... What I do after each use, I will not just turn off the unit and store it with the water still in it. So step one is to pour out the water out of the basin. Now I go even further into this because I don't want the water to be sitting in the lines either, right? Bacteria can grow and multiply quickly in dark, wet places. So I like to keep these lines as dry as possible. So what I do is after I pour the water out from the basin, I will turn the unit back on. So plug it back in, turn it on and run the lines out dry. And then I will also open up the tip, the handle part where the tip is, and I will pour out the water to make sure whatever was sitting in there gets out of there as well. So my daily storage is also important to note. I will never let my water flosser just sit there on the counter all closed up. For one, I put it in another room outside of my bathroom because every time you flush a toilet, gross stuff can travel through the air and land on your water flosser. Same goes for toothbrushes. I do not keep those on the counter. So I put it in its spot and I make sure that everything remains open. I keep both the tip open and the water basin open so it has breathing room. Again, I like it to air out and allow it to air dry. Okay, so that was my daily routine. Now I have a monthly routine as well. Again, read your manufacturer's instructions, but on the one I have, it says you can do this next step that I'm gonna show you every one to three months. So this is my monthly-ish routine. First. I literally just clean the outside of the whole unit with a paper towel or soft cloth, whatever. And it says to use a non-abrasive cleanser. I just use whatever I clean my sink and counters with. By the way, make sure the unit is unplugged when you're doing this. Next, I clean the water basin. So I take it off the unit and some units you could remove the black valve, but mine doesn't seem to remove. So again, my water flosser has on the manufacturer's instructions, like on the box, that it's dishwasher safe. So I do put it on the top rack and then I let it air dry once it's done. Anyway, if you don't have a dishwasher, just wash it with warm soapy water. Works just as good for me. Sometimes I do this instead because I think dishwashers can be stressful. There's so many rules and regular sink washing is simple. <laughs> now I clean the internal parts. So the lines that the water flows through. Again, based on which model you have, the amount of vinegar you put in will vary, but I put about two tablespoons of vinegar. That's what it says, but I just kind of eye eyeball it into my water basin and then fill the rest up with warm water. Then I run the lines until they are dry with this warm vinegar water mixture. After that, I run the lines again, this time with water only. So I'm filling it up with 100% water this time and running the lines through. This helps get that vinegar taste out of there. And lastly, I clean the handle and the tip. Again, some units, when I was researching this, said that the handle can come off completely. So if it does, that's great. You can soak it in water and vinegar mixture. Mine actually, even though it doesn't come off, it says you can still soak it in water and vinegar, but I'm nervous to do that because I don't know if it'll break the buttons. I don't know. So I just clean the handle really well with a water vinegar mixture on my towel. I don't soak it. So again, something to look into your individual model about. Also in the little crevices, the little nooks, the little spots I can't get with my towel, I actually use a Q-tip that was just dipped in the vinegar water mixture. Next, I clean the tip itself. You can remove the tip and then in my directions, it says you can use either hydrogen peroxide or a vinegar mixture again. But I figure, hey, I've been using vinegar this whole time. Might as well use some H2O2 for this last step. So I fill up a cup with about two parts water and one part hydrogen peroxide. Again, you can use vinegar instead if you want. And, and I let it sit for about five minutes after I rinse the tip under warm water. Technically, the directions say to replace the tip every three to six months for maximum effectiveness, but I go as long as I can to get my money's worth, right? <laughs> I feel like it's not the same as when the bristles fray on your toothbrush, but I'm still all about reducing germs and lowering the microbial count. So I usually do get a new tip every six-ish months. 
In all, keeping your water flosser clean is important, not only because of germs, which I focus on mostly, but also because of the mineral deposits that can build up in your machine. So keeping it clean can not only keep you safe, but it can also prolong the life of your water flosser and allow it to perform effectively. So yeah, using both my personal daily tips and my every one to three month tips, I feel like I keep my water flosser performing at optimal level. And of course, I keep it clean. So I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And if you want more teeth talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where I have more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. Until next time, peace, love, and teeth. You can still see me. Bye. <laughs>